everyone, this is Jen Brummer from ISL Collective and I am creating this video to give you a very quick tour of our new feature, which is the video quiz creator, which is awesome and is totally free. So why not use it to bring some more ed tech into your ESL classroom? It'll be awesome. So let me show you a quick tour. Um, here we are at the ISL Collective website. You're going to log in here. And there it is. All right, once you're in, you are going to click upload. You have two choices. You can either create a video lesson, which is what I'm showing you right now, or you can also use the worksheet feature. You can do PowerPoints and worksheets there. That's what we're most famous for to date. Um, ISL Collective has been around since 2009. We have over 2 million users and over 100,000 worksheets that are uploaded. So right now what we're trying to do is kind of move in the direction of the times and get some more uh, technology into the ESL classroom. So that's why we're doing this. Create a video lesson. So what you're going to do here is choose a video. It could be from YouTube or Vimeo, Vimeo, Vimeo. So I've chosen something that I think you'll enjoy because I very much enjoy this, is the famous viral video of the uh, interviewer whose kids run in and interrupt the interview. And there's a very good chance that I might recreate that tonight because I just put my kids to bed, so who knows? All right, so you're gonna click on share and get your link. Go back into the creator and put it right here. Pop. And then, there you go, it's right there. So then you're gonna click create a video lesson. Here's a little tutorial that you can watch later but there's no need for two tutorials in one video. All right, so start creating. Um, you're gonna press play. Scandals happen all the time. And whenever you want to have a question in there, pop, you're gonna click on this plus sign um, in the orange circle. Now you have a few options of different questions that you could put in there. This is a gap fill, multiple choice. You can unscramble a sentence. You can have an open-ended question or you can use the tappable Pictionary. Currently, tappable Pictionary, if you choose that, all the questions have to be tappable Pictionary because this is something that we're really working on to make popular, um, which is basically like tap on this picture, tap on the yellow sweater, tap on the red tie, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna skip that for this video because I wanna keep it short um, and just show you how it works. Okay, so first we'll do a gap fill question. You can have an optional question like, what did the girl do? And then you could say, the girl opened the door. And then you select the gap. I'm gonna say door, like let's say we have beginner students that need to learn this new book. Well, it wouldn't really work with the question. It's a little advanced for beginner, but this is just so you could see what it, how it works. It's not a, gonna be a fabulous lesson. Okay, so we'll say door. All right, that's the one that's going to be um, out. And you could have an explanation there. Continue. So there's the first question, and you can see it's going to pop up right there. And then there she is interrupting her dad, and he's like pushing her out of the way. I'm going to put another question in right here and say, here's a multiple choice. What is the girl holding in her hand? Add the option, let's say she's holding glasses. She's holding a toothbrush or she is holding a lamp because that's what i'm looking at right now all right there we go and then you choose the correct answer which is a toothbrush she's holding a toothbrush you could have a little explanation in there you get the point continue your children's just walked in i mean shift it shifting, and he's pushing oh shifting here comes the little the baby the that's my favorite part a little waddling in there um i would be surprised if they do uh, um, <laughs> and oh there's the, there comes the mom, but before that, you know what you can do, before she comes out, you can do a prediction with the open-ended question. You could check understanding, ask for an opinion, or do a prediction game. I'm going to say prediction. What is going to happen next before the mom comes out? And then the solution, that the, it doesn't have to be exact. The student doesn't have to um, write that exact solution, but as long as they can compare it and see that it's about the same, then they can still get the point for it. So the solution would be uh, the mom ran into the room. Okay, continue. There it is. 
and then they'll see that it happens after they check their answer compared to my answer and so on. So you kind of get the gist of how this works. Once you're finished creating this, you're going to go up here and click on publish. And once you do that, it's going to prompt you to give the title, the task description, blah, 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 blah. So that's all stuff that you can go learn as you go. And then there's some, some suggested information to include in there as well. Now we're going to skip to the final product. Like it's a cooking show. I just made it all up and put it in the oven. And now here it is. So here's the final product that I've already published. You're going to go click on your, um, your avatar and go on my creations. And then you're going to be prompted to well, here. And then you're going to see my printable uploads, your draft, all your drafts get saved like regularly so you don't need to worry about it getting deleted and you can go back to all of your draft lessons before you publish them so that's pretty cool i'm going to go to my published video that i just did oh no there it is okay this is what i did earlier it's not the same one um yesterday and then you can choose a play mode um you can watch it with, with the quiz uh, I'm sorry, without the quiz, this would be if they were to just preview it, if it's like a three minute video and you just want them to watch it first and like absorb it, then you can also play it in interactive mode, which is where the questions pop up as they, as you created them. You could do a casino game, which is really fun. They get to like pretend to bet money on it. And then they have like, it's like more of a video game. So I think younger students or I mean, any students would enjoy it and, um, bet some money on it and then they add and subtract it or you could do it in non-interactive mode where the students don't have to answer the questions it just it, the questions pop up with the answer so start scandals happen all the time the question is how do democracy respond? pop up oh, his daughter opened the window is that right mm -hmm. no it's the door so you can see how it works. The question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Oh, and then I did the replay. I clicked on, you'll see a prompt for replay um, where they can go back and watch it again, which I didn't do in this demo. But as you play around with it, you'll get the hang of it and you'll see the different features. Um, we'll just watch one more real quick. And what is the little girl holding? Oh, here we go. I did it in the, put the words in order in the last one I did. So the little girl is holding a toothbrush check i did it okay and so you get the point it's really really a great feature it's very easy to use as you can see i am here to answer any questions so i'm really excited to share this with you um did i have anything else i wanted to say i believe that's it oh at the end you can you can edit it if you if you find something in the library that you really um liked, you can edit it and make it more your own. You could favorite it. You could say thanks to the author of it. If there's a problem, you could click on that and get some feedback quickly. Um, so that's a basic overview. There's a lot more into it, but you have to kind of click around and get the feel for it. But I just wanted to introduce you to the, to the feature on the website and hopefully uh, spark your interest in participating in it because it's free and it's awesome. And you can put it on a smart board or you can um, have the students just writing in their notebooks or you could send it home for homework and it's so much better than just watching a video and then like I mean even if you're like one of these awesome teachers that post these YouTube videos that teach the students and then like at the end or it pauses and they do a little explanation every so often it's great this just adds another dimension to that because they have to really process it and think about it and you know as a teacher the more as they make mistakes and get their mistakes corrected it really helps them to get it in their brain. So I'll go, I could go on and on, but I'm going to stop because it's 10 minutes and I really just wanted to make a three minute video and it's 10 minutes. So thank you for watching and please contact me for more information. And I would love to uh, share more information about this with you. Bye.